Hey everybody, Lloyd here from the Ken 10 Weather Team. There's a few topics I would like to discuss with you this afternoon. First and foremost, we are under a freeze watch. It is in effect from late tomorrow night through Saturday morning. The National Weather Service out of Nashville, Tennessee has issued a freeze watch, which is in effect for the for late Friday night through Saturday morning, the temperatures will range from 22 degrees to 30 degrees. The immediate impacts will be sensitive veg veg bleh, vegetation, which may be killed and or damaged, so protect your sensitive plants. If you did not know, a freeze watch means sub-freezing temperatures are possible. These conditions could kill crops and other sensitive vegetation and or make you cold as well so bundle your plants up it is currently 48 degrees here in the portland scattersville area it's much colder than yesterday if you have not stepped outside all day today's high is 54 tonight's low is of 32. the sun will set at 7:02 p.m tonight the current moon stage is waxing crescent at 44% visible. Uh, but that's about it about the watch and the weather. On another note, I wish to send my thoughts and prayers along with the rest of our team here to the citizens of Oklahoma for the loss of life and damage from yesterday's tornado. I'm sure you have seen it on the news. So our thoughts and prayers are out there with them out west today. Also, our thoughts and prayers are with the airline that went down in the Alps. New development, new developments came out this morning on the news that the co-pilot intentionally locked the pilot out of the cockpit and plummeted the plane into the side of the mountain. I don't know about you, but I consider that a terrorist act. If you're locking your pilot, your partner, outside of the cockpit and deliberately crash a commercial airliner that's carrying almost 200 people inside of a mountain, that to me is terrorist. But that's me. Our thoughts and prayers are also with the families throughout the world that lost many, many people this tragic event of yesterday and today day before yesterday uh, so our thoughts and prayers are with them are also also there is other news Indiana I know you've been following Indiana and what's been going on up there with this freedoms discrimination bill or whatever it's called personally I hope every major corporation yanks out of Indiana to have a major impact on that state. Maybe then the governor should have listened to the mayor of Indianapolis and many other government officials before he signed into law this discriminatory law which is now enacted. Hopefully there is a higher court that could throw this out. But we will see. Also, if you've been following what's been going on in Arkansas, the governor also may be signing a law, also a discriminatory law. So I also encourage businesses to yank out and or threaten to do so if it is signed into law. Hopefully the governor of that state will have some common sense and know what it will jeopardize. When businesses yank out in the state has a very bad economic impact because of it but anyhow just keep watching your local news sources national news international news for all of developing stories from the lgbt rights uh weather or watch right here on the canton facebook page the canton website at www.canton weather.wibbly.com or just send one of the newscasters here a video and we will send you our best response possible. Again, for myself and the Ken 10 Weather Team,
This is Lloyd up here in Scattersville, Portland, Tennessee. Again, what we see, you see. Have a good day.